Hi, welcome to another episode of Two Minutes on Tuesday. I'm Sam Miller of Remax Stars Realty, and this week we're going to talk about the top 10 trends that many home buyers are looking for in the market today. Uh, this is not an inclusive list. These are things that I'm seeing on a regular basis where we're hearing from buyers or even sellers that are saying, the seller says, uh, the next house I want, I want these features. And a lot of the, the buyers, especially the younger buyers, uh, the, the list I'm going to go over with you, there are really some of the hot buttons that, that the, the consumers today that are looking to buy are looking for. So number one is really, really simple. It's smart home technology. Uh, and it could be something as minor as a programmable thermostat for the heating and cooling system so that while they're away, they're not heating the house you know, at full temperature as if they were home. And then an hour or two hours before, they can either have a program to cycle the, the heat back up or the air conditioning down, depending on the time of year. And there's all kinds of other technologies that they like, like automatic lights, um, and you know, obviously wireless technology in the home, garage door, remotes, where you could open, like if you had a service contractor at your house, he showed up and you were at work, you could remotely open like your front door or open your garage door so that the contractor could get in the home to service your furnace or whatever needs done. And then you would know when they were there and when they left. That, that just technology like that's pretty, pretty simple today. Uh, number two, this is a big one, separate space for a home office or a side business. Uh, especially after the pandemic, lots of people all of a sudden, uh, they didn't want to use their dining room anymore as their home office uh, while they were working remotely. They decided, hey, I want to have a, a home office. And it could be something as simple as a study uh, or a uh, you know den inside the house. Could be a, a spare bedroom uh, with a door where they could close it so they'd have some privacy. Uh, and, and for some people, they want to have a place in the house where they can run a side business, uh, where they can leave their stuff spread out. They work somewhere else during the day, but they've got this evening and, and weekend business that they're running. Uh, and so they need a place to operate that business. So uh, pretty simple and uh, lots and lots of people are asking for that. Uh, number three, three is a big one. Open floor plans or spacious great rooms. Um, and, and again, in Knox County, we have a lot of houses that were built in the late 1800s to early 1900s where the great room design uh, or the open floor plan wasn't as popular. Uh, those houses still sell, but if you were to ask, you know, what are the things that most of the buyers were hearing from if they have a, a want and need list, you know, the great room or the open floor plan design always ranks one of the top three uh, on the list of what they're looking for. Uh, number four, and this is a big one, outdoor living space, such as a deck or a patio. So if your house has a, a deck or a patio space, uh, that's a real bonus. And if it doesn't, if it's got room to have one put down, uh, the buyer, if they love the rest of the house, a lot of buyers are willing to do that. But the, again, this is one of the things that they like to add to their list. And, and part of it is just for entertaining. It's not that they use it every night, but when they have friends over, in addition to have, maybe have an outdoor dinner, a cookout, uh, maybe a small fire pit and spend time just hanging out. Uh, so that's a big one. Number five, number five is a, a significant one and it's energy efficient features in the home. Now that could be something as, again, simple as programmable thermostat or high efficiency furnace or high efficiency hot water tank. There's all kinds of things. Upgraded windows or storm windows or upgraded insulation. Lots of things that could make a difference where they could reduce their monthly utility bills. And of course, the reason that this has become a bigger issue is people are stretching their budgets further now. So they're looking for ways to save money, still live in a very nice home, but they want to know that their utility bills are not going to be so high that they can't afford to live in that house. So any extras that have been done to the home, such as a high efficiency furnace, those do make a difference in the eyes of the buyer. Now, with that said, if you're a homeowner and you've got a furnace that's five years old, don't go out and buy the latest and greatest furnace as a selling feature because it won't make the difference. The cost recovery from a five-year-old furnace to a brand new ultra high efficiency, the payback isn't that fast. But if you've got a, you know, a 60 or an 80% efficient furnace and you're due for a furnace anyway, then it makes sense to put in a high efficiency furnace. Number one, the home inspector is gonna love it. The buyer is gonna love it. Uh, and they're not gonna be negotiating your price down as much thinking I'm gonna have to put a new furnace in this house. And that's just an example. There's lots of other things for efficiency that you can do. Uh, number six um, is value and affordability. So the buyers are looking more value related right now. 
you know, can I afford this house? What's the cost for me to live here? And uh, so we're hearing more of that now that the interest rates have bumped up some. Uh, number seven, easy updates and small renovations. Uh, most of the buyers are not looking for a house that absolutely has to be redone from top to bottom. And the truth is a lot of the buyers don't have the money to buy your house and then put $100,000 in upgrades in. Uh, so they want a house that's livable, but if they have to do some minor updates, some color changes, decorating, or some minor repairs, people are mostly open to that if they have the ability uh, but they don't want a total redo unless they're a contractor uh, or a builder or someone who they have access to a contractor who can do the work at a reasonable cost. Uh, so that's a big one. Uh, number eight, desirable floor plan layout. Uh, we kind of talked about that with the great room. That's a big one uh, for a uh, layout of a house that's conducive for their lifestyle. Uh, number nine, easy care exterior strikes bonus points of so the houses. Exterior is low maintenance, easy to care for. That goes a long way with the buyers today. Um, it's not that they won't buy a house that has wood exterior. They just want to know that it doesn't need redone tomorrow. Uh, but if the house is vinyl, brick, stone, uh, big bonus points for that because you, know, you can power wash the house. You don't usually have to paint it. And so that's easier for them from an affordability and a long-term maintenance. Uh, and then here's the big one, and this is so simple. You would think, wow, why is this even on the list? High-speed internet. Uh, and it's for streaming, because a lot of people have gone away from cable television to streaming uh, their internet uh, for watching their programming, or they have uh, gamers in the family, or they're gamers, uh, so they need high-speed internet to be able to play their online games and then also for the ability to be able to work from home. So those are the top 10 trends that I'm seeing that home buyers are looking for. If your house has half of those, only five out of those 10, you're probably in really good shape. Uh, if you've got eight or nine or 10, boy, that's super desirable. Uh, and, um, and if your house doesn't have any of those, there are still buyers in the market buying houses. Uh, and again, value is one of the big things that if it doesn't have all those, it needs to be in a price range where a buyer could afford to make some of those modifications. Uh, but like I said, the housing market's great. We're still short on available inventory. I think right now we're still under about 60 houses available to purchase uh, in the not through the Knox County uh, multiple listing service. So we're getting more inventory, but we're still still low. So I'm Sam Miller, Remax Stars Realty. Thanks for watching. Uh, if there's something that you think should have been added to this top 10 list, add a comment below. I'd love to hear it. Have a good one. Bye.